What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to restore your iPod back to factory settings or back to 1.1.1 firmware. Right now I'm using the 1.1.4 firmware, if you don't believe me. There it is, 1.1.4. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is to restore your iPod back to the 1.1.1. You're going to hold in the home button and your power button until it goes to power off. Just keep holding it in. Your iPod's going to shut off. When it turns back on, the Apple logo, you're going to let go of the power button, but hold, remain holding in the home button, or else it will not work. Okay, this is good right here. It's just Apple, or iPod is in recovery mode. Okay, that's good. Click OK. You must restore it. Now, you're going to use a thing called Auto Down. I will show you how to get this in the description of my video. Alright, what you're going to do, it's going to be a zip file. You're going to right click it, click Extract All, which I've already done. So, I'll just follow those steps. It's very simple, but I've already done it, so I'm just going to show you that. You're going to double click on it once you've got the regular folder. It's going to go into Auto Down. Double click that. You're going to have a bunch of files. You are going to want to click the one that says down. It's got a little picture. Alright. Now you're going to click run. Now, it says press any key to continue. Just click enter. That'll work. Now, a bunch of stuff's going to come up. So it's going to say then hit enter. Press any key to continue. Just hit enter again. And then iTunes is going to show up and it's going to should disconnect and say, okay, iPod's in recovery mode. Now you're just going to click OK again. You might be able to skip that step, but it wouldn't let us, so I was just showing you. Now you're going to hold in the shift key and you're going to hit restore. And you're going to have to have the 1.1.1 firmware downloaded. It will be in the description of this video. I will have the link for that. So, once you get to it, 1.1.1 right there, you're going to double click it, and it's going to say extracting software. You're going to go through multiple of these, so and it does take a while, so I will get back to you when it is done. Alright guys, restoring iPod firmware. This should be the very last step. It shouldn't take too much longer. Sorry for making y'all wait. Alright. It says your iPod restored back your settings. Restarting. Leave it alone. Okay. It'll restore or Do not, disappear. Do not disconnect it from your computer or else it will not work. You're just going to click OK right there or it'll dismiss after so many seconds. Alright. Your iPod's going to go back to this. And it's OK. Give it a second. That's why. You leave it plugged up to the computer. If you don't, it will stay on that. Alright. It's going to restart. It should come up. There you go. Now, you have restored settings to your iPod. Now, you can set up as a new iPod or restore from backup. Just I'd set it up from a new iPod. Well, let's just go with There we go. Just click that and whatever yours is going to be named. Hit the enter or continue whatever. There you go. Your iPod is now restored back to 1.1.1 at your factory. There it is. No dock.